it says that before Islam, the Jahiliyyah, the pagans, before Islam, one year there was a drought. And the camels began to die, the sheep began to die, there was no grass, there's no food. So the people, they didn't know what to do. There's a drought. So they go to Abu Talib, the uncle of Rasulullah. This man, this honorable man who took care of Rasulullah, who took in Rasulullah when everyone else closed the door in front of Rasulullah's face. Of course, this man, by the way, today you find speakers, khutaba and Salat al-Jum'ah and wherever, when they speak, they say, Abu Talib, is, his brain is roasting in hellfire. This is how they say about him. What's his crime? His only crime was that he, he was the father of Ali ibn Abi Talib. That was his only crime. Otherwise, you don't hear about any of the Sahaba's fathers being mentioned in this way. This man who took care of Rasulullah, who took in Rasulullah, this is what you hear certain people say about him. This hadith, which is narrated by Tabari and Mas'udi, Sunni scholars, it shows that the pagans before Islam, they had respect for Abu Talib. So they came to Abu Talib, they told him, Oh Abu Talib, ask Allah for rain. Ask God for rain. The hadith says that Abu Talib, he took, he took Rasulullah who was an infant at that time. This is a hadith that's narrated by Sunni scholars. He took Rasulullah who was an infant and he brought him next to the Kaaba. He brought him next to the Kaaba. Of course, at that time, the Kaaba all around it, over it, within it were idols. He took him next to the Kaaba and he, and he said, Oh, son of my brother. Oh Allah, I ask you by the son of my brother, this man, Muhammad, this young child, Muhammad, bring down the rain upon us. The hadith says that at that moment it began to rain because of the tawassul in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Using Rasulullah, using intercession through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And we have numerous narrations, numerous ahadith. One day a man, a blind man, he came to Rasulullah and this is also in Sunni sources. I looked it up today. A blind man, he came to Rasulullah and he asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, he tells him, oh Rasulullah, I want to be cured. I'm sick. I want to be cured from my blindness. So Rasulullah tells him, if you wish, you could remain how you are. Or I could ask, you could do tawassul in me. I could ask Allah. The man, he said, no, I want my eyesight back. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, he told him, go and do wudu, perform wudu. And then he tells him, go and pray and say this in your dua. Say, Allahumma inni as'aluk. Oh Allah, I ask you. I'm not asking Rasulullah, I ask you. As'aluk wa atawajjahu ilayka bi nabiyyik. I ask you and I turn to you but through who? My dua is not powerful enough. I have, my life is full of sins. My life is full of crimes. I keep disobeying Allah. I have no face to come and ask Allah. I come and I ask you through your Prophet. I ask you through the best of creation. Allahumma inni as'aluk wa atawajjahu ilayka bi nabiyyika Muhammadin nabiyyir rahmah. I ask you by your Prophet. The Prophet of Mercy, إِنِّي أَتَوَجَّهُ إِنِّي تَوَجَّهْتُ بِكَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي فِي حَاجَتِي Then he turns to Rasulullah, to Rasulullah, إِنِّي تَوَجَّهْتُ بِكَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي I turn to you, through you to my Lord so that he cures me, so that he gives me my hajah. هَذِهِ لِتَقْضِي لِي اللَّهُمَّ فَشَفِّعْهُ الْإِي Oh Allah, accept the shafa'ah, accept the intercession of Rasulullah. The hadith says that the man was cured. And Rasulullah, he taught him to do this dua.